there, it's Richard Butler, and today I am reviewing VideoTap. What is VideoTap? VideoTap is an online software that you can use from any browser, and it allows you to take your long form videos, so those webinars, those courses that you've created, and cut them up into small bite sized videos, often called shorts, that you can post then on. YouTube, that you can post on Instagram, that you can post on Facebook and TikTok and even LinkedIn. Now, this is going to save you a lot of time in your workflow. Why? Because if you have a 60 minute uh, webinar, how are you going to find all the best bits? Then you have to find them, cut them up. Then you have to put, uh, make sure that they're the right screen size for your social media. You'd have to resize every, every single video. You have to put subtitles. I mean, it's a nightmare. Okay, so with VideoTap, what it does is you upload a video and it automatically finds the best clips, cuts them out, and then subtitles them and does more. So let's just see how that actually works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add Videos. I'm going to find a video that I've already created and you'll see that it tells me VideoTap works best for talking videos. I click on Browse or I drop a video there. I find a video, this is an idiom that I want to uh, post on LinkedIn or on TikTok. I click on upload. It's 292 megabytes. It's not that big. It's a small video anyway, but it's going to chop it up into maybe two smaller videos. Um, it uploads and then what happens is it goes off and does its magic. Now, this is the first negative point I would say about video tap, and that is that it at the lower level at the first tier that you buy it only comes with 100 minutes which is just over uh, an hour and a half which I feel isn't enough if you have created a lot of videos or if you want to uh, uh, upload a lot of videos so I would actually go for the second tier which gives you more minutes now as you can see the interface is really clean that's one of the things I love about this software um, I decide to put this in a folder so I have everything nicely organized and then I click on start processing. Now, what it does is it processes the video, it generates the transcript, it creates some content, uh, which is really useful, and it is choosing the highlights that uh, it believes are the best. So let's just leave that working away, and I'll come back in a couple of minutes. Now, the video has processed. The first thing I want to do is just, uh, I'll rename this uh, out of the frying pan. I'll get rid of the MP4. It says it's created two clips. It's also created a 535 word blog post. I'll come to that in a second. It gives me the description here, which is perfect. It gives me the chapters. Now this is another huge advantage with VideoTap that it will actually give you chapters so that you can put that in on your YouTube videos uh, and it allows people to skip through the video very, very quickly. It's a lovely feature. The next thing I really like is the tags because the tags are what you as a creator put into YouTube um, on the back end when you upload your video and it helps with more visibility. So another plus here, we have the summary, we have the meta description. Now, the first piece of content that it creates for you is the blog post and it's lovely. I mean, it's really, really nice. I can add a screenshot from the video if I want and this comes up here and then it gives me these nice little quotes. Now, the... The, the, the one thing here is, I, I mean, it's very nice that it gives you further reading, etc. When you go to export this, you copy the HTML, you copy the markdown code, or you copy it as plain text, and then you need to upload it onto your site. So if you're not familiar with HTML and, and creating a blog post uh, from HTML, this could cause one or two issues for you. So a nice thing maybe for VideoTap would be if they had an add-on of uh, creating your blog, and then you could uh, have that easily or more easily integrated onto your website. But its main function, I mean, I, I see this as an extra. The main function is really to get those clips. Now, here we have a little bit of a challenge because with the clips that I actually got produced, they're only three seconds long. So what I can do, if I ever get a clip that I don't like, I can go create clip and I can just click here on the first one, click on the second one and say create clip. And what that will do is, that will create a longer clip. So it's rendering a preview here. And once this comes up, we will see that when I press play, I can change the different style, etc. But 
let me just go into a previous clip that I had. So if I just go into videos, I go into my folder, for example, I had this one step back and I can go into clips and it shows me all of the different clips that were here and they were all about 39 seconds. So let me just go into edit here and show you a couple of the features. I can play this. I can change the highlight style. I can change if this lifts, if the words grow, if the words rotate. Then I can decide where the text size is, the text position, etc. And if I want to change this to a TikTok video, I click there and that's it. Absolutely super, super simple on that. I also have a social media post if I want to do that. Um, under the content, I have the blog post, which is really, really, uh, really, really useful here. I can export that. The only problem is I can only export it as HTML or Markdown or plain text. So if I don't know how to use, or if I don't know, if I'm not very technical with, with uploading uh, HTML text, this could be a problem. Perhaps I could use this as an extra to make it integrate easier with your website. But this is an extra on the tool because it's not the main function of the tool. One thing that I do like is the social, that you can go in and it will create Twitter tweets for you. And they say LinkedIn are coming soon. If I'm not happy with these, I just click on regenerate and it regenerates those tweets for me. Now, let me go back to clips. And if I want to export the clip, I can go in here. I'll go into this one because I haven't exported already. And I simply click on export clip. The only things that I think could be improved here, or one of the main features that could be included is the ability to post automatically to social media. I've used a lot of different tools and most of them have some sort of facility to allow you to connect to TikTok, to Instagram, etc., so that you can actually uh, connect up. What's left to say? Well, if you liked this video, do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Do use my link that's in the description because this supports the channel and leave any comments below. OK, so remember a decent sized video but you can always resize the length of the video by just highlighting the start and end points. Um, super simple to use, lovely interface. It's on a lifetime deal for probably the next five days. It's the 19th of June. I would recommend that you grab this. You've been watching Richard Butler. I'll see you in my next video.